Hi, I'm Margarita McManus and I'd like to show you about using different threads in your bobbin and how to adjust the tension. Here we go. So here are some really different threads. This is a very, very thin um, nylon polyester thread that's used in the bobbin for piecing. It's so thin that you don't have to change your bobbin so often. Um, it's wonderful for while you're piecing. This is a nice um, rayon. It's a 40 weight, so you can see that that's a pretty good size thread. This is probably a 35 weight rayon, a little bit thicker. And this is a 12 weight cotton. It's pretty much like rope compared to the rest of them. But I like to use all of these threads, and I've used them all in the bobbin as well as on the top. Every time you change thickness or even the material from rayon to cotton, you should check the tension of your bobbin. And this is the bobbin test. And this is the screw for tightening it right here. And a little screwdriver works really well. This is from a jewelry kit. This one's my favorite because it's just the perfect size for fitting in there. This is from an eyeglass repair kit. I took the screwdriver, gave the kit to someone else, and kept just the screwdriver. It's wonderful. These those kits are pretty cheap too. So here's the here's the right kind of tension. You just want to be able to if you hold it, it's going to stay still. If you wiggle it, it's going to drop. Okay, might be a little bit tight, but see that that's dropping. I'm trying not to lift my hand while I do it. But if I take that out and put in and when I take it out, I always like to have the thread go the, the same way. I don't go pulling it backwards. This is, this is some of uh, the special bobbin thread. Really super thin stuff. Just look at that. Just I can't even get it to stay. So I really have to tighten that down. And it's going to affect the quality of your stitches if you don't do this. Don't be afraid of it. You can't hurt anything here. It's just a couple of pieces of metal. Again, that's still too loose. See how much I tighten that? And I don't like this screwdriver anyway. I like this one. Tighten it even more. Okay, so I can... My let go, it stays still. If I jiggle it, it drops. That's a perfect tension right there. And one last thing. I've had... I've done a lot of quilting. And um, using special threads. And I've had... Backlash, which is a huge pile of threads stuck up underneath in your needle. Sometimes it seizes up so that you have to get in there and just cut everything away in order to get all the threads out. It's horrible. It really is annoying. These things are called bobbin washers. You can buy them in a package. Uh, there's a company that makes them. Uh, one day in absolute desperation, I cut um, some of my Teflon pressing mat and made my own, but I'd probably prefer to buy them just because the I'm sure that the cutting is better in the ones that you can buy. Bobbin washers. You still have your spring in there to give you tension while you're sewing, um, but it prevents the backlash where the bobbin spins too much and then stops and spins the other direction and ties its all the thread around the spring. Um, I hardly ever, uh, as a matter of fact, almost never have backlash anymore since I started using those bobbin washers. So don't be afraid to change the tension on your bobbin if you have this type of a casing for your bobbin. It makes all the difference in the world and it's not hard to do. You shouldn't be afraid to do it at all. And every single time you load your bobbin, you should check the tension. Make sure that you've got just the right tension for every single bobbin. So there you go. Thanks for watching.